Again, with me is Hans Steffensen. He's the uh, owner of the Dakota Angler and, and guide, and fishing guide, tr uh, fly fishing guide. And a lot of people come to the Black Hills for many, many reasons, just to enjoy the scenery, to just go hiking through the Black Hills. But to me, one other important reason why we have tourists coming to the Black Hills is they want to fly fish. Definitely. Yeah, we've definitely seen that become more and more popular just in general. But during the pandemic, more and more people got into outdoor sports, including fly fishing, and that has been a definite draw. And you could spend, I don't know, 150 bucks on a psychiatrist's couch, or spend a lot less than that just to do a little bit of fly fishing out in these beautiful black hills. Yeah, and I think that's one of the reasons is that you get outside and you get on the stream and you hear the water and you kind of stop thinking about all the problems you might have in daily life and you just get sure. to enjoy some tranquility and peacefulness on a beautiful piece of water. How important do you think fly fishing is to the Black Hills uh, tourist industry? I mean, to the size of the industry overall yeah, here, it's, yeah. it's probably not the biggest piece of it. But I mean, I think outdoor activities in general are growing all the time and fly fishing is a part of that. You know, you see fly fishing, mountain biking, rock climbing, and, and those things just become more and more a part of why people come here as opposed to just seeing Mount Rushmore or going and seeing kind of the more traditional sites. Yeah, they say trout live in beautiful places. And you know, there's beautiful places in Colorado you could fly fish and you could go up to Montana, fly fish, Wyoming, and the Bighorns, but come on, the Black Hills, they're up there with all those states as well, I think. Yeah, I think so too and you know every place is a little bit different here we have you know smaller streams than you might find in some of the states further west but you also find streams that aren't very crowded and the quality of the fishing is as good as it gets. Okay tell the folks out there where's your favorite place to fish here in the Black Hills? Uh, you know just depends on the day. I mean, we're so lucky. I, I can go five minutes from my house on Rapid Creek here in town, right. and it's amazing. Um, I love Spearfish Canyon just for the, you know, the sights as well as the quality of the fishing. And, and you know, there's, there's so many choices. People tell me that just below Pactola Dam, the trout have PhDs. They're pretty smart. You got to be really, really good to catch a brown at the yeah. base of Pactola Dam. Is, is that right? It, it is true. They've seen enough flies and fishermen that yeah. they've gotten a little bit smart, but that's part of the challenge and, and that type of fishing can be rewarding. But you don't always want to have to fish for the smartest fish. You can go find some, you know, some fish that aren't quite as smart and, and have a little easier day of it. And what I enjoy as well is catch and release. To me, that's important. I mean, I want to catch a big trout, a big brown, or occasionally a big rainbow. I want to put it back and let someone else have the enjoyment of catching that same fish. That's definitely part of the ethic of fly fishing, and increasingly so. And it's just a matter of kind of maintaining the quality of the resource and re recognizing how long it takes to get a fish, especially in a smaller stream like ours, you know, to get 16, 17, 18 inches. Uh, once you kind of gain the respect for the resource and the fish, it, it becomes harder and harder to want to harvest that fish. You want to put it back and give somebody else the opportunity to catch that fish. There you go. So fly fishing here in the Black Hills is just as important to the tourist industry as rock climbing, bicycling through the, the hills and all, all of this good stuff. So is there anything else you want to add to this? No, just that we're incredibly lucky for the resource that we have. Yeah, yeah. A beautiful day like today. Exactly. I'd rather be fly fishing than talking to you. <laughs> no, no, I'm, all, I'm only kidding. I, I, I'm, I, don't, I'm only... I don't take it personally. <laughs> okay, all right. All right, well, thanks a lot. Yep. Thanks a lot. Appreciate thanks, you taking the time. Yeah, happy to be here.